as we started driving down to Sunnybrook, uh, that's when I noticed that outside of my house in the intersection there was uh, an accident, a pretty serious one, so we had to be diverted. Um, so yeah, I didn't actually know that that was my dad's car in that, that inter intersection. I think he's, uh, he was being transported to the hospital during that time, so he wasn't there. But, um, but yeah, once we got there, we realized that he was uh, T-boned by another car that, was, that ran a red light. So, um, and yeah, for him, he was in a coma, and uh, he didn't actually wake up until, I think, two months later. So that was quite a serious accident. Um, so I think right off the bat, um, because the impacts to his left side, his, um, the alignment to his eyeball, was, uh, it's, uh, it's off. So one of his eyeballs was pointing to the left, and his right eyeball was pointing to the center. So he wasn't able to see properly. Um, so that was, um, I think that's, when you see him, it, it, when I went to see him when he woke up, um, that he kind of recognized who I am. He knows that I'm his son, but he forgot things about me, like my name. And so I think these memories came back afterwards, which was good. Um, but yeah, he, he couldn't really speak. Um, he, he was really weak. Um, I think throughout, he, um, he allowed me to, he negotiated everything for, uh, for me on behalf of my family with the insurance company, so that took a huge load off of my shoulders uh, and my mom's shoulders. So my mom's focus after my dad's injury was to you know, make sure that he's okay and take care of him daily. Um, my job is to not, not let my mom get worried about myself, so I keep going to work, uh, do what I can um, to ensure that you know, financially my family's okay. Uh, and Greg took care of the rest. Greg did everything else for my family, handled the, the tough parts, um, and let my mom and I focus on what we have to focus on. Um, but aside from that, they were great along the way. I mean, they, I think I was really surprised that Greg gave me personal calls to update me on the situation, um, and also asked me how I'm doing. It seems like he really cared. I mean, he's an important person, he's a busy person, and yet he took the time to call me directly, so I really appreciate that.